And it all gets started with Trey Younger leading things off. And he will ground the game's first pitch down to O'Farrell. The shortstop is true. And that's how things began 2022. And trying to claim the first series against the Hoos since 19 here today. That's headed for the gap. And it's going to find its way onto the warning track. Digging for second base is Green. And he's got an extra base hit. Runner in scoring position just like that. This looks deep enough. Salki backing up on the warning track, and Georgia Tech will strike first. A sacrifice fly, and Curse's second RBI of the weekend makes it one nothing Jackets. Bleachers, okay, and just like that. If that's the goal, this may be the result. Jacob Ference on top of the clubhouse, and Virginia on the board. Liner into left. Ellis is around, and he will score to reclaim the lead for Georgia Tech. Find the character so often emblematic of that sport. He'll get the pop up here. Hanson in. Bright sunshine today, so he shields the eyes if he doesn't like the pitch. Saki likes this. He's Runs it on a rail between the fielders and into left field, and there is Casey Salki's initial base knock in his return to the lineup. Bit of a return to form for him, one of the main closers a couple of years ago. First pitch he delivers. Henry Ford connects on it and puts Virginia out front for the first time this weekend. Fourteenth blast of the season for the Virginia first year. They've been waiting to celebrate. Pitch. Anderson finds a little open real estate and is aboard. Mentioned his double yesterday. And Virginia's most productive coming into the weekend. They've used it again here. And that will roll up and into center field. It's going to mean a couple of runs come home and Virginia's lead grows further. Well, there may be the casual fans at home saying, wait a minute, I didn't think they could do that anymore. Big league level, no. College baseball, absolutely still on the table. Here's another run that was on the table. O'Farrell sends this deep enough into right that Godbout trots home. Track men. High in the air. Long run for the right fielder. In the end, it is the center fielder, Burris. Being easier for him to command. And he's throwing it in the zone just like that. Hanson, his throw a little high, and it's going to force Ford off the bag. That means Burris, left center, still carrying. That's off the wall. Jarrows had to hold up. Runner on his heels. He'll come around to score, but Younger will be held. And there are two more in scoring position with a run in. So that's why they set him up on the left side. This is rolled right up the middle. It's going to mean a couple of runs. Ellis delivers. And the Jackets inch back much closer. Keesler just throws the bat head out there, rolls this right side. And as Ford tried to backhand it, it works away from him. Men on the corners now. A single to the first baseman. This is right side. Big turnaround for Godbout. Who's trying to turn two, but the arrival of Green means a Georgia Tech run as he is safe at first. Godbout backs up on it. This time goes to first, and that's the inning. 13-2. And he will line a single into center field. The tying run aboard, and it is Cam Jones. Seventh at the plate now. And he sends a 1-1 off Hungate's glove. He'll be forced to go to first with it. And Georgia Tech has tied the game as Jones comes home to score. Hungate works him into the dugout. O'Farrell aboard with the potential winning run for UVA. Did you think Henry Ford was going to bat with a base empty at first? No shot. Probably not. Deep center. 
Burris backing up, seems to have enough room. Amazing. 2-2, Two -two and Jones will sneak this on by Godbout and into right field. He is aboard once more, singled and scored the run that tied it in the ninth. Two strikes to sacrifice the runners in the ninth. But Jones had to work hard to make sure that didn't connect him, and the out is recorded on the toss on across from Griff O'Farrell. Tech facing 9-1-2. Hanson, right field, that's gonna one-hop the fence, and Luke Hanson has a leadoff double in the bottom of the 11th to set the stage for the Hoops. Nearly everyone's feet on the grass. And Whalen bounces it right up the middle. Virginia evens the series with a Bobby Whalen walk-off in the 11th. And the initial delivery gets us underway. So many of those uh, cycling through those final years of additional eligibility. And here's a liner by Salki, one of those upperclassmen for Virginia, and he will drive home UVA's first run as he plates O'Farrell. Doesn't take that long on Sunday, one nothing Hoos. He hits this on the button. Virginia's lead will grow. Two runs come home to score, and the Cavaliers have plated three in their opening. 2-2 Two -two to Hanson. He'll swing through it. Virginia utilizing the opening frame. Speaking of Salki, he comes charging, but he'll pull up and play this on a hop. First two are aboard. In the name of Chase Burns had one of those for Wake Forest. This is by Hanson and into left field. Jackets on the board. They do answer right back with, at the very least, a single run here in the second. Where did Whalen's bouncer go? Right where this one's headed. Bichetti going to hit the gap, and that's going to mean a second Georgia Tech run all the way around is Geisler. Here's another coming to the plate, and it's going to be cut down. The potential tying run. Ball wants to play the, get the good competition. Chance to certainly play your way in. O'Farrell going to play his way into another knock into left. They're going to put the brakes on for the runner Becker, and two are in scoring position with... Straight away center. Very well might be a run. Throw's going to come into third. O'Farrell there safely. Becker comes home in Virginia. Walk-off winner. A couple of key sacrifices. Has the RBI here. Salki is going to drive in a run a second time with an RBI ground out on which O'Farrell scores. Series decider today. There it is again. Right back up the middle and through. Matthew Ellis remains locked in. Younger will score. So it's a great pitch. This is a fair ball into left field. Burris comes home to score. Stop sign thrown up for Ellis, but the tying run is now at third base. Green tries to loop that over Ford's head. He will. Holding to make sure it's down. The runner at third will then scamper home. Ellis scores, and it's a tie ball game in the third. Can he leave one stranded at third here? Yes. Absolutely. A 2-2 that shuts down the frame till uh, they lose a Till and a Geloff from that World Series team a, a year ago. But you can certainly make your contributions. And Jacob Ferentz has done so again. Tied the game yesterday with his 11th home run of the season. Gives Virginia the lead back. Here's Burris. He lines this into right field. Another base knock in this inning for Georgia Tech. Bichetti all the way around, and there are two in scoring position. An infield single, so two aboard on hits. You can make it a third hit, and Georgia Tech looks to claim the lead. Runner coming home ahead of the throw. A head first slide for Burris, and the Jackets are out front for the first time today. We're going to get a little further acquainted with before the day is done. This is trouble down the left field side. Get back to that. It lands. And Georgia Tech is going to add to the advantage. Lackey 
Gives it a pretty good ride, but Salki has enough room, and he'll gather it up on the edge of the warning track. Maha team, so. Up the middle and through. Salki again. Each of his three at-bats today, Casey Salki. A run scored in the first. Looking for a whole lot more here. Down toward the left field corner. That's going to one-hop the fence. Salki to third. A stand-up double in Charlottesville. The 0-2. And Ferentz is struck out for Virginia. Twice. No outcome determined. A couple of ties as Younger lines this into center field. And they've been playing baseball head-to-head -head against one another. The arrival of the runner. Here's Matthew Ellis again. Another big spot. Another big swing. Salki on the move. He'll look up. That's going into the bullpen. Ellis having just secured his 11th home run of the season. And he grows Georgia Tech's lead here in the fifth. Locked in. We talked about it earlier before the game started. His approach is absolutely locked in. He might be the hottest hitter in the nation right now. The guys behind you, we talk O'Farrell and the strength up the middle and the ground that can be covered in, in the outfield by this team. Not to mention the offensive contributions. You get like the latest of uh, Ethan Anderson's doubles here. Maximize that, um, the movement there, because I mean, that's that's really the, the game plan that, with that is. Um, Boy, Luke. I like that you're a cheerleader for your team Sorry. there. It's a great teammate. That's what it's all about. <laughs> saw you three weeks ago and did a great job again. Thank you so much for visiting with us, Chase. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for having me on here. And uh, back and forth. Punch and counterpunch type approach between these two. No reason to believe it wouldn't be just like this. Geisler starting it off with a single into left. 16 hits pounded out by the Jackets. Hanson. That'll carry him off him, and by the time it gets to O'Farrell, everybody's safe. So Marslak again gets the job done for the Jackets. Georgia Tech will build upon the lead with his two RBI double as both Geisler and Green come around. Younger, his third hit of the day. It will plate the run, and Georgia Tech with two outs. This may be another. That is high and into the bleachers, left field side. Drew Burris joins the home run party, and Georgia Tech's lead now even more sizable on the freshman's swing. O'Farrell, he lines this inside the left field line and is coasting down to second base. Another double for O'Farrell. One thing you know, each time he's been up today at the plate, trying to do that again with a sack fly, is this deep enough in right? O'Farrell has the speed. He'll tag, and Salki has driven in a run in each of his four at-bats. And does it well, and your defense prevents that and does it well. Your differentials will pay off in wins. But one out with the bases loaded. It'll be the merry-go-round, make it a five-run game as Becker draws a bases loaded walk. And he will put the 0-2 in play. Deep left, backing up and colliding with the wall as he makes the catches younger. It'll be the long, loud sacrifice fly to pull Virginia one run closer. Salki in play. He will not be able to beat it out to first. One of the top marks in the ACC, and that's not just for freshmen. And the freshman in the Georgia Tech lineup is aboard once more. He has just notched his fourth hit of the day. It may have been their best chance that he turned aside. Once more, Ellis on a rail and into center field. And you know the speed that Burris possesses. He's around a third. Ball trickles away, but it is gathered up. That's going to bring Burris home. It will not stay at four. A five-run lead back in effect for Georgia Tech on an RBI single from Jones. Down to third. 
Hanson takes it to the bag and then across the diamond for the double play. Critical run for the Jackets. Green gonna run this right down the right field line. It will be more than one run. He's gonna coast into second base, driving home Jones. And soft that you need to backside. There's the final out of the top half of this ninth inning. 11 the lead, top of the Virginia order. Much work to be done. O'Farrell tees off on the first pitch and drives it out of here for Griff O'Farrell. It is his fourth home run of the season. For Virginia, the last time someone unranked took a series from the Cavaliers here at home. That's what Georgia Tech just completed. Jackets take game one and game three.